Okay, so this location here is going to be the beginning of our sorting process. So as we go out and collect garbage from different buildings, buildings that don't have food or, or anything that we have to worry about contamination, that's where it all comes over here to start. Uh, as we drop it on the ground, uh, we can identify what's going on by the color of the bags that we currently have. We have clear bags, which represent common areas that we can see maybe there's some food or something in there. We can identify that there may be contamination. We can let that go straight to the landfill. Uh, we have black bags that we can see. Those will identify from labs. It identifies from bathrooms, places that we're not going to get any recyclables. Then we see the blue bags, which is a building that has a recycling bin. Uh, they're collecting that process, they're wrapping it up, they're putting it in the trash force. We can pull that out and identify, say, this is 100% recyclable. So this is the beginning of our sorting facility. As you can see, this is where we pull out the cardboard, the paper, the plastic bottles one and two, and the aluminum cans. As the product delivers and moves across the conveyor system. Each individual is designated to pull out their, their product. As they're pulling it out, they're sorting it, separating it, putting it through the bottom of the bins. And then once we have it separated is where we start to make our bales of product. So the first two guys are uh, the ones who sort the cardboard. Uh, the next two individuals will be the ones that are separating the different types of paper. The next two individuals will be the ones separating the plastic and the aluminum cans. And then the third will be the one that kind of fills in and picks up the stuff that may have been missed or they couldn't see as that product flows across the conveyor system. So as that cardboard is separated from the sort line, we take our uh, backhoe, we'll filter it onto our conveyor system that goes up to the baler. It creates a bale of cardboard to wrap up and to make it for transport. When it comes to uh, aluminum cans and plastic bottles, plastic bales are produced at roughly six to eight bales per month. Same goes with the aluminum cans. The aluminum cans are filtered off of the sort line into a smaller container. Uh, we pull that in, dump it all on the floor, and we do the same process as we do with cardboard, compact it, tie it up, and get it ready for transport to the vendors. This facility was put into place in, in the late 80s. It's one of the very few universities that actually sorts and bales and sells its uh, product out to help fund the system. We are one of the very few that still actually use a manual process that we are sorting out by hand. We have people digging in the trash, pulling out these commodities. So the importance of what we're seeing here is the need for pre-sorting all of these components before it gets to the waste transfer facility. All of this waste that we're seeing is caused by you know, us making bad decisions, just throwing recyclables in the trash can. So to improve the process, I think, first of all, educating everybody on what we're doing. We, we throw things away, we don't think about it, because once we put it in the trash can, it's done, it's out of our hands. But everything that you see here is done by that behavior. We really have to get to a, a poor part that we are um, separating it before it gets here. At what point is somebody else, you know, compensating for your bad behaviors going to come to an end? You, you have to be responsible for it.